Good morning everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Blueberry Crop in the Fog by Olima. Um, this was a recommendation, um, and yeah, it's a fog puzzle. I haven't done a fog puzzle in a while, so I'm looking forward to it. I There was a comment about difficulty. I think this one's on the slightly easier side. I think I was told this is going to be a coffee break puzzle. So we'll see how it all goes. Um, so the only thing I really want to call out is that um, over on my Patreon, which is available to people for free, um, most of the content I publish over there is for free, um, people are able to nominate puzzles that I published on the channel in 2023 for the best of 2023, and then in February, once all the nominations are in, I'm going to run a Battle Royale, um, where people on the YouTube channel, which will be open to absolutely everyone, I mean, my Patreon's open to absolutely everyone, you can join it for free, um, will be able to vote on um in uh, on of this set of puzzles which they think is the best and then those will go into a semi-final and then we'll run a grand final and see how it goes so yeah we'll see how that all runs let's have a look at blueberry crop in the fog by olimar so normal sudoku rules apply so um, in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. Blue squares are box indexing. So we can see one of them here. Um, box indexing means a digit in, uh, it says here, i.e. a digit in A in position B of a, a box indicates a B in position A in that box. So um, I'm going to use small digits to explain that. So what that would mean, say, let's say this was a five, because in this box, if I was to put a five here, I'm using this because it can't be, then a five here, this is position eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is position eight in the box. If I put a five here, that would mean I have to put an eight in position five, because the five here is saying that this position eight, five in position eight means I have to put eight in position five. That's what that means. Um, so we have, um, now the rules don't actually mention the fog. <laughs> which kind of breaks my brain a little, but I can't reset this puzzle because it's a fog puzzle. Um, black dots indicates that the um, that adjacent digits are in a one to two ratio. Um, white, um, so one must be double the other. Uh, white dots indicate consecutive digits. We can't see any of those. Not all dots are necessarily given. Now, the reason we can't see any of those is a large chunk of this grid is covered in fog. And what the fog means, um, and if you've never seen one of these before, the rules won't explain it to you, and you might look at this grid and go, what's going on? Um, what the fog means is if you place a digit in a grid, um, in the grid, all of the cells that touch that, including itself, will have the fog revealed, and you'll be able to see what's underneath it. Um, unfortunately, not explained in the rules, but that's what it is. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot, and I probably need to start here. Now, there's a couple of things I can tell about this cell. First of all, it's connected by, it's a run of one to two ratio dots that can see each other. So um, I immediately know what the two possible options are. There are two possible options for this cell, and the reason for that is any ratio dot only has four possible fills. One will double to two, two will double to four, three will double to six, four will double to eight. Once I hit five, five will double to 10 and it doesn't work. But three, six don't have partners. So six can only partner with three and three can only partner with six. But I need three things that can see each other. So this, whatever goes in the middle has to have two possible partners. And the only digits that can do that are two and four. Four can go to, down to two and up to eight. Two can go down to one and up to four. So we know that this is two or four. Now, if this is a two, this is an eight. If this is a four, this is an eight. And that doesn't work because if this is a four, eight, this is a two eight pair. But if this is a four, I'm saying that's an eight. So this is a two. And these are one and four. Okay. This being a two means this is an eight. Oh, and that's another blue square. Right, and this is a consecutive dot. So because of the consecutive dot, I need to put, this is an odd and an even digit, but I've already used two, four, and eight in the box. So there must be a six on this. Now, if I put a six here, this becomes, oh, if I put a six here, this becomes a three and six and three are not consecutive. That's not the six. This is the six. This is a five or a seven, which would put three either here or here. Uh, three here or here, but I can't put three here. So this is the five. This is the three. These are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and nine. It's a nice opening. And the box indexing here is done. So this 
Well, this can't be 3, 6. Okay, so this is just 8. Because the only possibilities for this, once again, each I must have a low and an even digit. 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 3 to 6, 4 to 8. Now, I can't put 3, 6 on this dot because that can't be 3, 6. So this has to be from 1, 2, 4, 8. But I can't put 1, 2, 4 here. So this is an 8 and this is a 4. This is now another box indexing. But, I have to put, it again, I have to put an even digit on this consecutive dot, and 2, 4, and 8 are not available, so there's a 6 on this dot. Now, if this is a 6, that's an 8, so that doesn't work. So this is the 6, this is 5 or 7, and we know where the 8 is, that's the 7. 6 now has to go down to 5, which puts 7 in slot 5, because this is box indexing, position 7 with a 5, and it means that 7 has to go in position 5. This is very cool. This is a pair now. One, two, three, three and nine, but I can't put nine here because what would the black dot be? Nine wouldn't be have to be four and a half or 18. So this is the three, this is the nine. Three only black dots to six. Six in position two means I put two in position six. This, right, this is now forced because I can't put three, six on this dot and I can't use one, two or two, four. So this is four, eight. Now, if this is a four, that means I'm putting 8 in position 4, and I, but 8, 4 here would put 8 here. So this can't be a 4. This is the 8. This is the 4. This is just nice, simple flow. Yeah, coffee break so far. <laughs> Maybe it gets trickier at the end. I don't know. 8 has to go next to 7 or 9, and the 7 is already gone. So this is the 9, which means this is the 8. 8 in position 1 means I put 1 in position 8. 1 only ratios to 2. Um... Do I want to populate this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's no two here or here. So this is the two. The four makes this the five and this the four. Now this, well, one, two, four, eight are gone. So this is a three, six. And the six here looks down, making that the three and that the six. This is now either two or four and it's not two. So this is a four. Four in position nine means I have to put nine in position four. This uh, this um, consecutive's down to eight because I can't put 10 in it. Eight in position six means I put six in position eight. Okay. I'm starting to run out of clues here. So this is a triple. One, two, three, five, and seven. There's no three there. Four, ah, four is on this dot because four is knocked out of that, that, and that. So four is on this dot. So this is from two, four, eight. Two is not there because of that. Is it going to be that? So, if this is one, this is two, that's fine. It could be one. It can't be two, can't be three. If it's four, this is two, that seems okay. If it's five, this is two, so it can't be five, can't be six. If it's seven, this is two, and it can't be. Can't be eight, and if it's nine, this is two, which it can't be. So, this is only one or four. So, the two is in one of those two which puts two in one of those two. Okay. Ah, eight. Can, I don't think I can put eight in here. There's no eight in this. Because if I put eight in this, eight would be knocked out of that, that, and that, and that's a three, four. So if I put eight on this, there's no eight in this box. Basically, I can say eight isn't in any of those. Oh, eight is here, is the way I can look at that. Because these eights knock eight out of all of that. Eight's there. I take eight out of this. This is four. This is two. That puts four. Well, that takes two out of there and puts two in there. That did reveal another dot. This is one or four, giving me a one, four pair. But the four makes this the one, this the four. The four makes that the two by box indexing. I've now revealed the whole grid, unless this is box indexing. which is possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, and nine. 
There's no nine there, so giving me a five, seven pair. So that's a one. There's a nine in one of those two. So that means there's a nine in one of those two, and that becomes a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are three, five, and seven. There's no three there. There's a one in one of those two. This would just be Sudoku, and I'm doing badly at it. Oh, that box there. How did I miss that? So this is going to point to wherever the six is in the box. And six has to be in one of those two, because sixes are looking at all the other cells. So this has to be a four or a seven. So this is a four or a seven. The four makes that the seven, which means this is the six. The seven means that there's no seven in those. This is a five, nine. That's the seven. I take seven out of there. This becomes the five, and I take five out of those. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, and eight. There's no eight there. There's no four there. This is one or three. Yeah, this is one or three. And this is one, three, five. And there's five in one of those. How am I failing my Sudoku? Practice. I have practice at failing Sudoku. Two is in one of those two. Not those two. I've got to put a six in one of those two. Ah, six in this column, though. Six can't go in those because of that six kicks can't go there. So this is the six. And these are two, five, and seven. What is this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, five, and nine. There's no three there. There's no five there. Have I done all the box indexing? Five puts three there, two puts eight there, seven puts eight there, five puts seven there, six puts two there, seven puts six there, eight is self-indexing, four puts two there, eight puts six there. I mean, have I done it right is the question. Four puts nine there, eight puts one there. That seems okay. These are one, three, seven, and nine. So, oh, so this is just a one because it sees three, seven, and nine. So these are three, seven, and nine. There's no seven there. Oh, this five looks across making that nine and that five which looks back making that three, taking three out of those. So this pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, th six and eight, and the six makes this the eight and this the six. The one, two, three, one and four go in, and I know the order, four, one and four because of that four. So this is five, seven or nine. So this is five, nine, which means this is three, this is seven, this is nine. The three looks down, taking three out of there. These are one and two. Um, uh, the three here looks back making that eight. So eight comes out of there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven, eight, and nine. So that's the eight. This is a seven or a nine. This row is missing one and six. And the six here makes this the one and this the six. The one looks up making that the two and that the one. The two looks down taking two out of there, putting two into here. This is five or seven.
This definitely feels like a part of the puzzle where the pencil mark checker would just help me. This is 5, 7, or 9 for the column, giving me a 5, 7, 9 triple. So this is a 3. I've done all the indexing, haven't I? Ah, this column. This is 7, 9. Ah, this 9 makes this 7, which makes this 9, which makes this 7, taking 7 out of there. The 7 looks down, making this 5, which makes this 7. The 5 makes this 3, which makes this 1 and this 5. The 7 makes this 3 and this 7. Um, these 5, 9, but the 3 makes this 4 and this 3. The 1 makes this 4 and this 1. How do I resolve this 5, 9 deadly pattern? There's a 5-9 deadly pattern, and I don't see how to resolve it. So I've made a mistake. I've got two 7s in row 2. When did I put two 7s in row 2? Long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away. So... 7 made this, no, I hope that was just a typo, 7, so hang on, what did I do here? So this is 1, 4, which I can resolve, 1 and 4. 7 makes this 9, which makes this 7, which makes this 5, which makes this 1, this is a 2. This means this isn't the 2, this is the 2. Let's do this properly. 1, 3, 9. There's no 3 there. There's no 9 there. Okay, I did all of that badly. Hopefully this is better now. This 3 makes this 8, and there's no 8 here. The 3, 4 means these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 7, 8, 9, but there's no 8 there, so this is the 8. This is 5 or 7. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1 and 6. So the 6 makes this 1 and this 6. The 1 looks up making this 9, 3 and 1. So this is... I'm really paranoid. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are 5 and 7 for those. The 3 and the 5 makes this the 9, which makes this the 7, this the 5, this the 7, this the 9, this the 7. One, two, this is a 3. The 7 looks down, making this the 5. The 5 makes this the 3, which makes this the 1, this the 5. The 7 makes this the 3 and this the 7. The 3 looks up, making this the 4 and this the 3. The 4 makes this the 1 and this the 4. And that's the correct solution. Still 1522, so absolutely a coffee break puzzle. But if you don't actually mess up your Sudoku, Really nice. Box indexing is a constraint you don't see very often. I actually create, I keep talking about this. I played with box indexing a couple of months ago and I made a killer box indexing puzzle. Don't think I actually released it. Um, the testing was like, this is okay, not great. Um, I might release it um, on my free Patreon. Um, so anyone who's a free member of my Patreon can go sign up to it. Um, and uh, I might release it there in a bit. I don't know, we'll see. Um, it, it's an okay puzzle. It's not a great one, um, but a uh, bit of fun. Everyone enjoyed it. Um, this, however, this is a really good box indexing puzzle. Um, the fog, I think, really lifted it. Um, and just being able to, and having the, the single fog cell makes you actually think about, hang on, how does the box indexing work? And then it just flows from there. Um, I just struggled at the Sudoku at the end, but that's fairly standard. That was a lot of fun. Thank you, Olimar, for the puzzle. Thank you for the recommendation. Thank you, for everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.